Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement. And uh, so far uh, we have discussed about the static performance characteristics of measurement systems, uh, starting from accuracy, uh, linearity, sensitivity, drift, precision, repeatability, reproducibility, all of that. So they represented the parameters associated with a measurement system which change very slowly with respect to time okay or they remain constant now we'll discuss about the second part the dynamic characteristics the dynamic performance parameters which are basically the parameters which vary very rapidly with respect to time okay so we know basic uh, measurement system it consists of these two performance parameters so the dynamic characteristics they come into play when the instrument or the measuring system the sensor or transducer part it is subjected to rapidly varying uh, time varying quantities okay and what happens is that the instruments or the measuring system they do not respond that well to these uh, you know sudden changes in uh, the parameter or the input and uh, they are not able to respond quickly instantaneously to these you know rapidly changing variables and uh, they exhibit slowness or sluggishness so this dynamic behavior of the instrument it is specified by some dynamic performance parameters which are speed of response measurement lag fidelity dynamic error etc and three such uh, input signals or test signals are given to the primary sensing element in order to test the dynamic characteristics of the measurement system which we have discussed in signals and systems that is step input ramp input and sinusoidal input here we'll not go into the mathematical analysis of it here we'll strictly you uh, know we'll stick to only the theory part okay so these test signals step ramp and sinusoidal are given to this sensing or transducing this transduction part and then the output characteristics are studied with respect to these characteristics dynamic characteristics speed of response measurement lag fidelity and dynamic error so this is all related to the testing of the instrument for dynamic behavior and the test signals are these three so first dynamic characteristic is speed of response so here suppose a given test signal let's say step or ramp or sinusoidal is given to the sensing element so how quickly the instrument responds to the change in the signal that is given by the speed of response this parameter then dynamic error now we have discussed about static error okay where simply the difference between the measured value and the true value that is static error but where uh, in static error the true value is fixed it's constant but here the true value keeps changing with time so it is the difference between the true value which keeps changing with time and the measured value which is indicated by the instrument that is dynamic error so please understand static error same difference between true value and measured value but in that case the true value is fixed but in this case the true value keeps changing with time it's a function of time and the value indicated by the uh, instrument the reading 
that is dynamic error so there is a difference between static error and dynamic error so first is speed of response then dynamic error then we have fidelity so here it is the characteristic of the instrument which uh, indicates the degree to which the instrument can give us a particular output without dynamic error that is faithful reproduction so we have already discussed in loading effects what faithful reproduction of a signal is so please watch the video related to loading effects so there i have discussed that when a signal is passed through a number of subsystems a number of blocks the characteristics of the signal it gets you know it gets altered so we rarely get the exact signal as we have given at the input side so the ability of this signal to preserve the characteristics of the original signal as much as it can that is called as faithful reproduction so fidelity is the degree to which the instrument can indicate the changes in the measured parameter without dynamic error so dynamic what is dynamic error the difference between the changing true value and the instrument reading and then lag is the delay which is shown by the instrument to uh, changes in the measured parameter after how much time it responds to the rapidly changing input variable how much time it responds to that it, it takes to respond uh, to a particular changing variable and to produce the output so we know that when it comes to dynamic behavior rapidly varying quantities instruments cannot uh, you know respond as quickly as they should okay and they exhibit slowness or sluggishness so that time period which is taken by the instrument to respond or to detect that changing parameter that changing signal that is called as lag so these are the dynamic characteristics of the instrument so we discussed about the uh, basic concepts related to dynamic characteristics of measurement system so here we'll discuss about the representation of the input output relationship of the dynamic related to the dynamic characteristics of a measurement system okay so the dynamic relationship between the input and output with respect to rapidly varying quantities that is expressed using differential equations okay it is represented it is expressed using differential equations and the order of that differential equation given by the highest order derivative which is present that gives us zero order systems first order systems second order systems and so on. okay so when we are subjecting the primary or sensing element with respect to testing variables step ramp sinusoidal the input output relationship is expressed as something like this so the input output relationship is expressed as this differential equation so here on the left side we have the nth order differential equation and here we have a mth order differential equation so depending on the constant values a and b and the order of the differential equation on both sides we can classify the measurement systems as zero order first order and second order system okay so here the y it represents the output x represents the input and a and b are system parameters okay they are system parameters so a zero order system here all the system constants are zero and only a0 and b0 these two are non zero 
So the zero order system it looks something like this a0y is equal to b0x. So we can represent the output as simply b0 by a0x or we can write it as y is equal to kx where k is equal to b0 by a0 which is called as static sensitivity. So this is the input output relationship of a zero order system where all the system constants are zero except a0 and b0. So it is the simplest of uh, systems and a practical example of a zero order system is a linear potentiometer. Okay, we have discussed about linear potentiometer in sensors, transducers uh, and instrumentation section. So you please watch that video. So this is a practical example of a zero order system, linear potentiometer. So here we have discussed about the dynamic characteristics of measuring instruments, about the, the dynamic behavior and about the dynamic relationship, how to represent the dynamic relationship between input and output and about zero order systems. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.